Welcome! In this video we are going to learn how to use the digital refractometer to measure emulsifier concentration for methyl T hydrophilic. For that I got this digital refractometer from the internet. It works very well, it's light, it's very easy to use it. It has a LCD screen, read and zero keys and it can measure from zero to 85% of bricks uh, window samples, this very light, nice refractometer. We are going to use two pipettes. One of them is to take uh, distilled water. I have marked, you see, yeah. And the other one is to take the sample of the emulsifier. Before to check the emulsifier concentration, we are going to use distilled water to set up the zero point. This point is very, very important because it's the reference point used for the refractometer. Also, you can use deionized water to do this step. Okay, to run the device, the device will show us the power and the temperature because this device has automatic temperature compensation or ATC. We are going to take the selected pipettes, pipettes to transfer a little bit quantity of water into the window sample only some drops is enough yeah and we are going to push the read key and uh, the instrument give us zero percent this zero percent means that the reference point is set if not if we have a, a different value we are going to push the zero key and automatically the refractometer will take this reference point Following, we are going to use a clean towel to dry the window sample. Take care, don't scratch it. Uh, if it's possible, use the towel and remove the liquid by capillarity. As you remember, we use this pipe for water. We are not going to use the same for the emulsifier. For that, this one will be used to get some drops of emulsifier into the window sample. After that, push the read key and the refractometer will give us 9.5 bricks. Keep in mind this value and remember before to storage or reuse the refractometer we need to clean the window sample using a clean towel and trying to remove all the residual of the emulsifier. We need to ensure that the window sample is clean. Normally, we receive the emulsifier as a liquid and pure. That means that we need to do the mix with water. To do that, the manufacturer give us one chart like shown here. This chart is generic. We need to create one chart like this one, but using the refractometer which we are going to use to measure. I will show you in other video how to do that using a refractometer and Excel program. Okay, using this chart, which is similar than they provided by the manufacturer. In this axis, we have the bricks value. In this other axis, we have the percent by volume. That means the volume of emulsifier that we have by volume of water. The value which we got before was 9.5 bricks. Then in this axis, we are going to find 9.5 and we are going to move to touch the line and after we are going to down to touch the axis percent by volume in this case we have one value approximately of 11.8 percentage by volume of emulsifier that's mean the tank content will be 11.8 percent of emulsifier if the mix is new one we are going to have the rest of water however if we have used this emulsifier to process part before and we did a good pre-rinse we are going to have less than one percent of penetrant contamination hey thank you for watching if you have another ndt topic in mind please let us know using the comments if the video was useful please give us a like subscribe and share with other ndt colleagues